Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Cookie Cast. Today on Cookie Cast, it's our football podcast. You can't see the forest for the teas. The uh, season well and truly is wrapping up. We're reviewing the last of the games. Um, and to mark such occasion, we have a special guest star on our podcast today. So join uh, Paul and James as they talk about the end of the season, the last few games, and uh, what's going to be happening next week. So this is Cookie Cast. You can't see the forest for the teas. Oh, because Liverpool fans were fairly respectful when they won the Champions League. Oh, they're not even bothered. Were they fairly respectful? Apparently. Were they respectful? Do they respect anything? When we went into... We uh, are recording. Apparently they when, were... Bear in mind, when, say, Fuck all, when, bear in mind, when we oh, went into no the Kings app, no, the Cross Kings, definitely no cross. Yeah. to watch the game, in the build-up, I saw a Liverpool fan walk past the TV as Pochettino was doing a post uh, pre-match interview, and he flipped him the birds. The internet. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. You're, you're just when, you know when we went in the room, Sam went and sat at the back with all those other people, and I was sat yeah. at the table at the front. Got talking to a couple that were on it. Like, uh, who, who do you support? Like, quite big Southampton fans, but since, like, half of that team is Southampton. <laughs> We're following Liverpool today. Cotton is a win. <laughs> Excellent. The way it should be, obviously. Just a bit disappointing that it was a terrible game. I know. That, like we said at the time, the penalty in the first two minutes absolutely killed that game. It's good that Origi had some magic, though. Oh, fucking Origi. Do you see that? Um, have you seen the Crouch thing? So yeah, I think he's he, him and him, him and Abby have had another kid, mm. and I think he's joking that he's called it Divock. Classic, she doesn't strike me. classic Peter and his mad she doesn't strike me as someone that will let him get away with stuff like that. No, absolutely. Not. I don't think I'm getting the joke of uh, Divock Crouch. So Divock Origi, right? Is a player for Liverpool. Right. He scored the goal that, well, was was part, had a hand in scoring the goals that got Liverpool to the Champions League final. Okay. Mm-hmm. Which is ironic. And then the technically, technically didn't score the winner yeah. on Saturday, but he did score one of the two goals he scored in the final. He scored the one that killed put, him off the last couple yeah, of minutes. Yeah, put it out of sight for Spurs. Yeah. Okay. I see um, on, on social media though. Kane's had a bit of a backlash on this, hasn't he? He's been getting absolutely panned, and quite right too. But, I mean, no, I was going to say how much is it really his fault, but obviously he's the one who's going to punch the and saying I'm fit. I'm they're fit. going back and saying that, um, sort of go, right, in hindsight, introduce your topic and then that World Cup semi final is cost us because no, he, he took a couple of chances where he should have just, passed let him, just let him go for it. <laughs> yeah, it's all good comments. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, um, Jim, I'm sure James is like, apparently it came out that apparently Southgate went up to him and was like, right, um, Thursday, quite a big game. Are you fit or not? And if you're not, I'm going to be pissed off if you say you are. So, what's the deal? And you said I'm fit. And who knows? We'll suppose we'll find out tomorrow, won't we? Welcome! Are we on? In the situation of a draw, would you give both people, We're both We're both losers. Would you give both a point? We're both losers. If you, were, if you were marking points. for First losers. Basically, give, give them both zero. I don't Which know what your context you have is. exactly the same difference on your scores as giving them both one. Technically two people have gone for a Liverpool win. that feel better about the fact that lose You and him have both gone for a Liverpool win. No, I'm doing the season. So there's a draw one week. Uh, there has to be some sort of playoff. So you're either going to have to naked wrestle him. I'm going to have to do that. Yeah, my money's on Andy winning. I don't know, he could be a slippery little devil. Uh, I'm pretty sure he is, but I think he's probably more squeamish about touching his junk. Are you, James? Are you squeamish about touching his ball bag? Not really up for it. Lies. Don't know what he's lying for. Really? I'm up at the thought of it, for Christ's sake, so... I mean, yeah. <laughs> Major boner towns. Didn't anybody do the introduction? Well, I said welcome. He did welcome. That should do it. Go. Welcome to football. Welcome podcast. to football. Welcome to football. Football podcast? Cast ball? You I'll, can't I'll, see the No, I was going to read, I was going to put it in a text. And oh, right. read it there. You've ruined it now, James. You might as well do the introduction. There's an introduction? You, the <sighs> okay. name of the podcast is You Can't See the Forest oh, for the Tees. I, I, I knew that. Everybody I, takes I knew their that. turn. For the forest thing. And I did know that. 
The objective is to do the most flamboyant. He doesn't get it, does he? Um, introduction possible. Ah. Ed, you do like. Welcome the... to You Can't See the Forest for the Trees. No! No. Tees. Tees. I said tease in the end, I corrected myself a little. There, that was about flamboyant. Do you, do you get it? Do you understand why? Because no, there's, there's a forest team and a tease team. No. Oh, yeah. I assume that was the name of a team. The Middlesbrough, Middlesbrough the, right. the river that runs either through or near Middlesbrough is called the River Tees. Uh, but the saying is you can't see the I'm, forest I'm for so the trees. I'm so pleased you said that because I was about to say called the forest. Ironically. Yeah. Have, you, have you ever heard this phrase, the phrase, you can't, can't see the see forest, forest for the, the trees. trees? Yes. It's a pun. Yes, I got that. But I assumed, I assumed it was because there was also one of you supported Forest, which yeah. was a team, Would and one of you supported Tees. Mid- Middlesbrough. Tees, Middlesbrough. Which is the Tees. The right Tees. See, I do get it. I, I have This one. is podcast gold. Susie, <laughs> right we're at... We're at five minutes and fifteen seconds, and this is this could not this could this scarcely is, be better. This is actually the equivalent of trying to educate a five-year-old on rocket science. Right now. Uh, a, I am the five-year-old, and football is rocket science. There's another no week idea. left to predict, isn't there? Technically, yes. If you want to predict tomorrow's England game, and then obviously, if they get through that, England the final is on. Lose. Can the prediction be? Will Harry Kane have the balls to say, "Put me on the bench, mate"? When's the final? Why would he want to? Be um, like Sunday? Sunday? Is it Sunday? I don't is, know. That feels like something you should explain. Why would he want to be on the bench? He's been injured for a long He's time. He's been injured for ages. Haven't played a game a in long. ages. And then the biggest game of his club's season. History. <sighs> yeah. First time they've been in the European Cup final. Right? Or were they in the... Biggest game of his career, basically. It's the biggest, the biggest game for his, if his team in recent years. Brilliant. And he tried to make it about him and say, "I can come back and be the savior." Mm. And he came back was not really fit and was rubbish. Oh, good. So well, I hope they dock his pay. Technically, the first semi-final. I don't know why I did that because it actually is a semi-final. The first semi-final of the Nations League is on as we speak. Okay. Portugal won, Switzerland nil. Spoilers, shall I, shall people. I, spoilers. And it's, and it's at insane. half time. Should we go old school on this as well? Oh, it's, it's half time at the moment. It's on Sky Sports. I've got Sky Sports. All right, phone. this guy did massive nil. Have you not anymore? I don't know because mine mine ran out <laughs> at some point, and I don't know when that was. <laughs> Because well, um, you were you were trying to cancel it for a while when you I moved was out, weren't you? Trying to cancel it for fucking ages. Yeah. I can tell you at this point in time, looking at because we were taking the season as what in this book. Um, did anybody notice that I tidied it up? So I tidied the table. Yes. Spent a good good few minutes tidying up, making it nice and neat. I put all of the nuts in one bag. Put all the food in one. Put section all the chocolate right oranges on the floor. <laughs> all, apparently, <laughs> so I tidied it up, and then. Ended up with less space. Oh god! No I'm fucking say. idea how that happened. So the, I'd have to go through the, the other books. It's, um, it's still bad to organise. But it's alright. It's conveniently. At this point in time. He's conveniently only reported the season when he started actually getting good at predictions. <laughs> Honestly, you, yeah, you, buddy. If you want me to go back? No, no, it's fine. I'm if you kidding. want me to go back and show you, I will happily do that. But I'll go back because of uh, because of the fact I already know the. Uh, the outcome of the Liverpool Spurs game. Massacre. There will be a tie. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Well, no, it's not me. <laughs> it right. is not. Well, should we talk so, about... So do you want to talk about Liverpool versus Spurs? Or did anything else Did anything else in, in football lead, in lead up happen? Apparently there was something about loads of Spurs fans stuck on a plane... Because it wouldn't fly or something. Oh, no, they were all at an airport and so no one had fueled the plane. <laughs> so just sat in the airport. Yeah, we just sat in the airport, airport like going, where's the, where's the fuel? Well, the game's uh, going to kick off soon. We're not even in the fucking air. Because they were all laughing with you. Like, you played like two grand for flights and ticket or whatever to get there and you sat there like, who was supposed to fill up the plane? <laughs> I mean, it was, it was, the airline there are getting huge, huge bills. Mm. I think they'll, they made They'll it, feel though, like right? a pelican. Whichever way they turn, there's a massive bill in front of them. Oh. 
That's, that's a bad joke from Bill that's himself. That's a black wow. adder joke. Wow. Wow. That's a bad joke from Bill himself. That's a black adder joke. I'm not allowed to call him Bill. I actually can't think of that one in black adder. That's a, that's, um, I think that's something that black so adder that says. It? I can't think of it. Which episode that's in? I think it's in the third series. Is that, mm. is that all? That? Is, that, that, is that all that happened? I mean, as far as the season's concerned, I mean, you know. We, we, we're, oh. very, we're very much in a down yeah. period. I'll tell you what's happened this week. After because he got a mention on the podcast last week. Joe Lolly. Joey Barton. No. His name he, do you know what his name's just escaped me now? Brilliant. Because I was just about to say Bamford, but I absolutely Do do Bamford. do Come on. No, not even Bamford. Well no, there's a there's a rumour. Conga. There's a rumour that Britt might be going back to Forest. No. <laughs> um no your man McCormack. Roscoe. So yeah, after, after I said last so, week, so Villa got promoted, yep. and because of the because of the terms of his contract, he automatically got a wage increase triggered. Seventy grand a week or something more. Hasn't played for him in two years. Been, he, he, I think he was on loan at was it Hearts or something like this year? Or Motherwell, I think Motherwell, it was. was it, yeah. uh, so he hasn't played for him in two years. Will we play for him for another two years because he's been released from his contract? Is that just so they don't have to pay him? Basically. Well, they'll, they'll have just arranged what, the What they're saying is probably like, he's, so if he had whatever the, he's worth, we're so not going to get a fee for him. So what do you say? Worth, 40, it, it triggered it got to go up to 70 grand. I don't know if it was an extra 70 or go up 70. If it was an extra 70, that would be ridiculous. Actually. So, so what's that? That's the best part of 250 grand a month. And he's, I didn't realise so he was that old. At, he's like 32 or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're looking at what? So, you do there? Three million a year. Three, they're not going to get yeah. a fee for... The, they're not going to get a fee. So you'd so imagine... offering yeah. four million for the two Well, no, you, 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 know, you just... Well, well, no, because he only had a year left to it's run his been, contract. It's been, it's been cancelled by mutual consent. You'd basically just say that they... They released they've his registration said, so he could go sign for the He's a million and a half up front if you just take it. Go away. And then off you go. And he's probably just going like, yeah... Do. On the basis that he he's an probably, absolute, he he's an absolute mercenary. Like, like I said last week, he, he he used Borough to get a new contract at Leeds, and all the Leeds fans were like, "Oh yeah, he wants to stay because he loves the club." No. Since no. he last played a game for Villa, he's been on loan to four different teams in two seasons or yeah. three seasons. One of those was not even Forest. Such awful. Uh, and yeah, there, I believe he was mm, fucking shit. There was talk of us signing him at one point. I'm so glad we didn't because he's a fucking. Waste. So that's one. I can't really think what's gone on. Anything? Yeah, nothing. Nothing massive has like jumped out. I mean, there'll probably be like Neymar stories, Bale stories, Pogba stories. Apparently, Juventus have contacted United to start proceedings for trying to buy him back. Can't see that going anywhere. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Pogba sometimes. Shit house. But when he plays good, he plays good. And then sometimes I think yeah, but he got, he's he got, good, but we need him out of the squad because he's a bad influence. But he got put, he got, he got put in the shortlist for the PFA Player of the Year, didn't he? So he got in. Wrong, but wasn't I don't think like Son did. How is that possible? <laughs> was it not last week that he was on the list of overrated? Massively. I don't think he's justified any of his pay, of his wage. Uh, I don't think he's justified anywhere near his transfer fee yet. Personally, for me. <laughs> He's I bet Ed thinks exactly the same. He's absolutely. I, I got... actually do because I don't think any of them are worth the money they're fucking paid. Sorry, transferred for. I don't understand the difference between that and as far yeah, as we had, we had, you missed that. You missed that conversation on Saturday. It's a we, we, Ed, couldn't, Ed couldn't quite get his head, his head around the contract. I just situation. don't. I don't understand why they're paid money, but then you have to pay someone else money to get them. Surely you pay them. If I want a job somewhere else, they would offer me money, and I go, I'd rather work for you, and I get money. Nobody walks up to to Aviva and goes, "Here, I'm going to give you ten grand for him," and then it pays me as well. So That's if you just this might stupid. make this might make it easier to to sort of understand. So you say you're a striker for York, but another and you score quite a lot of goals, and another team decides they want you to be their striker. What if I don't want to be their striker? Well, you can choose to turn on the contract. It's not you don't have to go there, but say you do. Say you agree terms and you move. Right. York need a replacement. Right. But in order to get a replacement, they'll have to pay money. So that's why you pay York money to get you, so they can then spend that money on a replacement right. in your so position. If I work, so I'm currently with York, and I want to go somewhere else. I don't know why, because you'd never leave the fucking county. No, this is just a hypothetical. That's a point. You don't ever be able to play home games. This is a hypothetical. <laughs> this is a complete hypothetical of Sonari Fancy and, and, and Whimsy. Um, 
if I play for York mm -hmm. and I want to, I go, I don't like York. Yeah. It's given me my start, but I want to play for Leeds because Leeds is the best. You'd be amazed how often this happens. Um, there you go. Uh, <laughs> what happens then? Then can I just go? Sorry, you guys. I want to. I want to go work for Leeds. You because no, you you, you've signed a contract where they've agreed to give you X amount of money for X number of years, and you sign up to that. But if you turn out to be shit. They still have to pay you. So this would be... The, so it's actually kind of the equivalent of a mobile phone system, except EE really want me as a customer, so they go to 3 and say, here is £240 to re release his contract so we can have him. Yeah. There you go. In a way, that, yeah. That makes more sense. But it's a mobile phone... It's a contract of work period, so they're buying, they're buying them out, say, brilliant, that's your two-year window. He's absolutely, he's absolutely why no did we not? Why did we not... <laughs> It might have been the fact that that was harder to explain with pints in hand. That point. is true. But you've also got the option to put in what's known as a transfer request. So you can you can actively say, I don't want to play for this team anymore to make other teams That's aware. That's like a six-month warning to the other lot that no, I'm going to be free. Not necessarily. It's, just, it's an instantaneous warning. So as long as it's within the transfer window, that's going to be confusing. Um, that's the uh, three month early period where you can choose to upgrade early <laughs> he's yeah, taking it back to contracts I it's love mobile it. phone contracts <laughs> it's okay this actually makes sense now no, Samsung two, Samsung teach everybody there's two periods a, there's two periods a year where you can buy where you can buy or Should register just players. let him have the win on the, on the contract on the no, so, Jan so January is open for a month right over the summer it's open for the best part of three months Ju is it start of July to Back it's, ended, well, well, it's, it's open now because people are signing players now. They can't officially move until the start of July, though, can they? I don't know. Something like that. It might. It might be. Yeah. But that's well, that's basically. That, that's, it sounds fair enough, then. It just seems daft. There you go. Welcome to business. The whole. Well, it's the whole fucking football thing is just overly fucking expensive. Massively, massively. The players agree. are overpaid for. You're not going to get. Assholes. You're not going to get any complaints from any. The fans are it? praising them by being assholes. That's right. Both. So we you. went. So okay. we went to go and watch the, the Nottingham Forest Borough game. Mm. Enjoyable day out. <clears throat> on a whole, way too expensive. Yeah. There was no need why the tickets, the tickets had to be that price. Hmm. Really. You see, clubs just, could clubs if, could cap max, maximum ticket prices at twenty quid and still make enough money off it. They could, but they'd have to also well, start dropping some of the it's fees bit, for the players. It's a bit the players supply and demand. Like at a, a, a Forest, they don't have a huge capacity. Thirty-two thousand. So Thirty point five. I think okay. going uh, going up to thirty-eight. Yeah. Soon, soon, maybe. I feel like I may have taken your football no, 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 cast away right. from but football what I was saying is, though, and more it was, into it was fairly full when we went. Yeah. So wasn't too many. It, it's it like you said by demand. If people are willing yeah. to pay thirty yeah. quid to get in, Based they're going to they're going to charge thirty yeah. quid. Do I ever it's do when play you get football manager. And did you do it, in a while. Do you go all out and put a suit on first so you feel no, like but you're have, really invested? No, but I have heard about people who do that if they get to a cup final, they'll put their <laughs> cup final suit on. <laughs> oh, this is why I ask because yeah. I've heard That's of full this. stupid mode. No, I've like, actually heard of people. people what who I've never understood is there was a guy who said. play football manager like in the real time. Yeah. Oh, you know, I couldn't a do that. day in football manager, a day in the real world. So they do what they need to do oh, and then I'll come back to it tomorrow for the next day. And one day might just be like. Yeah, let's review someone's contract. Oh dear. Uh, and that's me done on the game for today. That's weird. Well, remember, people do do that. I remember a guy saying that he got so much into it that he put his he put his cup final suit on and then to re uh, to reenact the opposition manager, he opened the door so he could shake hands with the door handle, which was the opposition football manager. These people are fucking stupid. Hey, if you can't afford VR, try and make reality more. Just virtual. remind him. I'm I'm course. on their side here. Let me see if I can find it again. <laughs> I know you will. Be. No, I just wonder. No, that's fine. So as it turns out, no, not an awful lot's happened in football apart from us trying to educate. Ed. That happened yes. in football. Oh I my like God. how they're not prepared read this. for this with knowledge of what's happened. They're having to Google it now. For those who aren't watching and No, no, I just remembered something. It's like, it's it's German 5th Division. Okay. <coughs> so I imagine, to put that in perspective, that's probably about the same equivalent of the conference. Probably worse. Possi they can't possibly even they can't worse. Probably so German 5th Division side, TV Jan Heisfeld. Great name. I think I've unofficially we'll be getting you to say that one later Jan Heisfeld no no so TV that's his name space okay. no, Jan space Heisfeld that's the team 
right. Told their manager with one game of the season left, he wouldn't be in charge next season. As a protest, he wore full fishing gear complete with fishing rod for his last game in charge. <laughs> Good luck. What a bloke. Oh. Oh, I don't know. There you go. I don't know if you can see these screens. I thought that was a nice little one. That, that is, is funny. fantastic. That is funny. That's good. Right, let's go on to the big game then, eh? So. I'd, I'd love to be able to give you a blow by blow account of the game. Well, hey! I had, oh. I had drunk. At quite. this point, he'd probably have about 15 pints. No, not that many. I don't know was that many. He was, it was I, eight, think, I was about eight pints in. I think I tried to do the count at least I think, one per pub we went into. Yeah, I think I was in double by the time you got to the end. No, I did, I did a double one in the brown cow. Oh, yeah. So you'll have been on 11 pints. And stage. unlike Paul, two of the was pubs drinking... Were, two of the pubs... Well, one of the pubs was closed yep. and we didn't get to the last pub. Yeah. Oh, you missed the last one. We, okay, the we went straight to football. I'm going to eat But unlike Paul and Stubbs that were on the 2.8... Like... 2.8 dark miles or whatever. Session ales. I, I stuck to the double uh, four pretty much all day. I'm giving him. I'm giving him credit. It's session ale. If it's an all day, you want the you want the three percent mark. Otherwise, he ends up. I was just done. I was just working my way around the board. Yeah. What I found is whenever I go out with Paul, if he's not drinking the 2.8, he's sneaking in the shandy. Oh. oh. Wow. <laughs> I've not seen me, this. Side he's done me up like a kipper there. I've not seen this. Or or, or a cheeky little lager top. Yeah, yeah, there's always room for a lager top, lads. Despite the bird checking the Unless they did a lager bottom. Oh, that was uh, they did lemonade bottom for you. Yeah, well, lager. this is the point. So, <laughs> you, you, the, the best thing is, you go into a pub and say the phrase, can I have a lager top, please, mate? Yeah, yeah. Do you want it in the top or the bottom? <laughs> no, I want, I want the refreshing lemonade at the end. <laughs> Why do you think it's called a lager top, chief? Come on. Oh, well, that one say, I'm actually going to raise this question because I'm ignorant on that one. A lager top being a shandy? No. So a shandy is half and half. Yeah. A lager top is you pour your pint but yeah. leave about that much at the top. Splash a lemon. Put lemonade in the top. Well, that's just right. So you just get that. No, shit. it's like a little refreshing first couple of mouthfuls. So it's, it? it's a case okay. of the first sort of like three or four mouthfuls, the first half of the pint, if you will. You've got that lovely little sweet edge. Right. Just to get you through. And that's because lager tastes like piss, so you need to make it taste better. With yeah, basically. Okay. There's also the there's also the equivalent of where when um, Frankie Boyle did a stand up, and he said that he went into a he was in a bar in uh, Scotland when uh, some guy came into the bar and said, uh, "Excuse me, mate, can I have a lager and lime?" And he overheard the bar mate, uh, the barman just said to him, don't "We don't serve cocktails we don't do here. cocktails." Do you know what? I do like a lager and lime. Me and James are having this conversation today. It's like. Give me some black. You don't, you don't see lager and lime anymore. No, me, yeah. see, Give see, me, me grand used. That's what me grand used to drink. Nice Guinness some black is a fantastic drink. Mm. It might make Guinness tolerable. What Guinness was, is already diesel? tolerable, but what was it? What was diesel, diesel, diesel is, is diesel is, lager. Diesel is la- half a lager, yep. half a cider, yep. splash of blackcurrant. That's the one because that was quite drinkable. They used to be called yeah. snake bites. No, uh, see, he, I, I have snake bite, a cider and lager. Yeah, so and I knew, I knew snake bite was, was a lager and cider. Yeah. But then at uni, snake bite was lager, yeah. cider, blackcurrant. Oh, no, a bit of blackcurrant. Is Sneaky bee. That, that's the diesel part. Sneaky bee. Diesel is one we had in Rascalf, and that was quite a yeah. drinkable piece of crap. Anyway, <laughs> this, this is a football cast. cast. It is a football Not cast. Not a drink or food cast. Don't drink irresponsibly. Don't drink in football. Drink like Paul and get called a girl. Drink like a girl. <laughs> hey, your bro- your so, brother was on it, wasn't he? Seriously, so James, Straight in James, came, pint. James oh, came no. and joined us at the Seahorse. Third pub in. Third pub in. No, no technically fourth. second. No, third. Technically, it was a third. It would have been, been, been the fourth if the Wellington wasn't closed. Yeah. yeah. So he came and joined us. I think his first point lasted him Five seven seconds. and a half minutes. Five seconds. I'm pretty sure. Um, he just so it, it was gone. Fast. It was gone in about four mouthfuls. The best thing was literally all day. It never got old for Sam. Is can't, um, can't believe this. Like I'm getting two pints less than fiver. Yeah, and then I went into the seahorse, bought three pints for less than a fiver, and he was like, "What? What have I just seen?" Yeah, but what you're lacking, what you're not paying in money. You are paying for in the fact you're in those sounds most pubs. I, I, do you know, I read back on the um, it's on the uh, the Wikipedia page in it about the rules. It is yeah. all absolutely. So I can't believe because he actually got he actually got called out for having his phone out in the King's Arms. Got, got reprimanded. <laughs> I didn't see that bit. Um, I, we got away with the brown cow. Right. Trainers and 
Ed, Ed got an S one off. He, he I even asked. Say, I got permission. He asked if it was all right. I got permission from the barmaid. I liked that one. She was pleasant. It was quiet. The pool table was fine. I had no problem with that one, but she gave me permission for one swear. Oh, I, see, I, I, I think, counts. like, fair enough, you can have your rules and stuff like that, but you've got to be flexible on them and stuff like that. You can't, you can't, you can't. The fact that play. apparently you're not supposed to have trainers. So half of our group turned up in trainers, half in boots. Shoes, yeah, so whatever. The, the actual rules on the door are no trainers, no high vis, no work clothes, no swearing, no tablets. I mean, Ed turned up in that outfit, basically. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, this is the know. brown cow. Yeah. I've explained this to you because we, we had yeah. this conversation. Classic, classic I was like, um, Don't go defaming them, though. <laughs> On camera, there was a there was a famous story about the brown cow from from what I remember, um, which I will not yeah. show. Divulge, but but, but I no, he can't. I don't know this story. I've so heard this story. He can't. Which he will not divulge on camera. Um, but so out of all of us, Stubbs had brought. I thought he was joking until you saw the bulge in his pocket. Oh my Wait. god! So. As we were leaving the seahorse, he was like... No, he was, he was talking about well, it. He was talking about it, but then when we actually left the seahorse, he was like, right, at what point do I need to stop? I'm like, what do you mean? Do you need a piss or something? He was like, no, I need to stop and put my shoes on. I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, well, I brought some black sock. To put over his shoes to... To, to, to circumvent the no trainer rule for the brown to cow. Hide, to help hide trainers. Just give them a coat of black. Right? Amazing. Until we were walking up to it and we had to explain, he was like, well, what if it turns away? We just well, go to then, the Then park. we go to the park. Uh, but, so should I not put the socks on? Well, <laughs> we're all in trainers. On, so Unless you brought six it pairs, doesn't really matter. it's not going to help. So he's like, right, all right then. And literally, because you were buying him his beer as part of a bet anyway, he literally just walked in the pub and like immediately just walked straight through the pub Seriously. into the beer garden. He tried to get out of the, he tried to get into the pub and out of the pub into the beer garden the quickest he possibly could. In case because he was that trainers. scared that he was going to get turfed out for wearing trainers. I'll be honest, when we got in there, there was no fucking. There was one person in that bar. There was there was two that there was, was the two barmaid. people not in our group when we left though. Yeah, that's true. Wow, true. Yeah. Let's say as. The pubs themselves were fine. My only issue with the Sam Smith stuff is their beer has absolutely no character. <gasps> Every pint I've had in those, in those pubs was just beautifully mediocre. Uh, <laughs> beautifully <laughs> he even got on the bottled cider at one point. Chandler, yeah, yeah. Chandler, it was a day, bush and I figured I'd try that. Beautifully and that, that was, again, I, it was I, That would be the time to have a lager top head work. No, I, 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 had a, I had a bottle of the cider at one point as a... Refresher? Yeah. Did you? I did. Huh? Was it the pet? Uh, was it the Perry or? No, it was just the regular. The apple. And then when we got into the King's Arm, oh, I keep saying the King's Arm. The Cross Keys to watch the football. James had had enough of the beer, so he went and bought a rum and a rum and coke. That, yeah. oh, and okay. I had an Amaretto and Diet Coke again, just to keep me back in. Do you mean? I'm just. I mean, it just occurred to me. Pepper. I know. We I know we are going to talk about the game at some stage. It just occurred to me when we got in there. I ordered one pint, and that pint lasted me. Oh, all the way to the point when I left. Ugh. So some might say that James had had enough at that point. He mm-hmm. accused me of being anyone drunk. Could, anyone could tell when you were talking to him. He was like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I didn't think he was hey. drunk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love you, I Sam. I love you. Thank for coming. Uh, Did I say that? So if Jeremy's back, and then he pulled his pants down and had anal sex with him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, no, not talk, let's not talk about James. I had I had made a mistake and got up, went to work at 7, left work at 12, went straight out and drank for 8 hours straight and then decided... A couple of times he did turn Probably me, at this time I should of, have some food. A couple of times he did turn to me and was like, should, should, should probably eat something at some point. I was like, mm, really? Really, diabetes a boy? A reward for the worst diabetic <laughs> yeah, <know>. goes to... <laughs> And he didn't have Sam there. No surprises. And he didn't have Sam there as his, like, as his sort of, you know, Yoda. So, that is the tale of how we got to the match. Yes. Tell us about the match. It ruined, was a bit of a letdown. Ruined within the first 30 seconds. Is it because I wasn't there? No. Nope. No, it's because uh, there's a penalty. We probably can't reveal who scored the penalty. Spoilers. Until... We can reveal who's got the penalty. Oh, it's, yeah. not gonna, it's, not gonna, it's not gonna ruin anything. It was yeah. None of us picked him, so Mohammed. Mohammed Salah. Oh, I think, I think I picked him. You fucking did not. I'm pretty sure I did. Who's he playing for? So, yeah, 30 um, seconds in. Literally. Sorry, what was that? 
I think he did pick. He, did you pick three to win by three? Did he pick the full Liverpool front line? I start? think he might have done, actually. Maybe, or maybe he did then. Damn it. God damn it. Oh, was that, was that the... So nobody picked Salah, yeah? Two of us picked Salah? One person picked Salah. Oh, dear. Did I pick Salah? This guy. Oh, dear. Was it this guy? Could it have been this guy? No, because I think you I went... You motherfucker. Oh, dear. Oh, is it because now? Is it now? No, I already or... know that uh, you're the only person who's got the score. Did he go 2-0 Liverpool? He hasn't got that score. Oh, I see. He's going to get a point, though. Yeah. So, disappointing in the first 30 seconds, Mohamed scored a goal. So, Mohamed. You did say Mohamed. Mohamed Salah. Yeah, see, I got the name right. Don't make it sound like I didn't. So... Yeah, God, 30, seconds, 30 seconds in. I'd taken my eyes off it because whatever happened in the first minute of a game, like, really. So I'd take, I I was at the bar when it kicked off and I'd actually sort of like turned away to take my drink back and all I just did was, oh, oh! So turned, Stuck your head back around the corner. So turned around. Yeah. Straight, straight I assume like, that was the like, moment that James had taken he can't give it. He can't give it a penalty in the first 30 seconds and watched it back. Definitely not a penalty. What had actually happened? It hit him in the chest and sort of oh. rolled up onto his arm. And everyone was saying, I'm ball. Oh. Not for me. Soft. Very soft penalty. I mean, dumb f- bounce off a bounce off forearm? Or? Here's, here's a question for you, because I saw like different social media things about, oh, fucking hell. I had I had it down to it for first goal scorer, you know, in a minute. <laughs> but like by, I think it was like a penalty in the first minute or something. But because the penalty didn't get taken until the second minute... <sighs> Where would the bookie stand on that? Is it when the ball's gone in or is it when the decision given? Because because if you're if you're, betting, goal, if you're betting on a penalty going in the first minute, it's never going to happen. Well, it depends. It depends. You've got to be very careful. It's a very careful on the word, and that's yeah. how the bookies will get you. Because it's either a penalty to be scored in the first yeah. minute, which is when he's very ever unlikely. A penalty, because it's always going to take a time penalty to be award. A penalty yeah, to be awarded yeah. in the first minute is what they'll settle on. Yeah. So. Yeah, and bookies are very, the very little, they're very surreptitious like that. Yeah, because it's a, it's a fine line, really, isn't it? So and, it, and they'll always say, check scoring, the small print. Scoring a penalty, which was uh, which was yeah, awarded in the first minute, you, you, over just scoring a penalty. Unless it was awarded oh. immediately at the start of the off, you're it would never going to score. It would have to be awarded minute. first, second, basically. For it to and also, because it's like. God. Because it's going to be in the first minute, it's going to be well contentious, and there's always going to be arguing before it actually settles down. And gets well, especially with that, yeah. and the fact that they've now got the V. They, well, I don't. I still don't understand how VAR didn't overturn it. It, it was bizarre to me, but is it this, just it just killed the game. This is where they get to choose to watch it again. Yeah, but they only get so many chances, don't they? With that, I know mean, they can watch it back until they can. No, I think, I, think, like, I think he's thinking like on the the tennis. Yeah, oh, tennis the, gets so the many challenges. Many challenge, yeah, that's yeah, the sorry, yeah. that's the stop you go in. Like every single point. I think no, that yeah. one was watch out. It, watch it. Watch it. Watch I think it. that one was out. Yeah, but technically, if you challenge, you get it right. You, you yeah. keep your challenge. So, so it's just theory, to stop you. Just in theory, if, if you think it's always out and it turns out it's in, but you get a Or if you think it's in and they've called it out and you keep getting it right, yeah. In theory, you keep all your challenges. Yeah, so. yeah. I'd say it's, it's a good discouragement, but I don't know. But it's one of those things that bugs me in rugby because um, the, the, the refs are very much against watching the playbacks for certain things they've only just started doing it in the last couple of years they're all mic'd think. up as well though aren't they to be told what's going on they are and they're better about it these days but you know it's always been a bit of a well why the hell don't they just watch it and make a decision hmm. and I, I'm always a bit puzzled why football doesn't do it more as well they, they, get, into, they get into that point the fans are such arseholes. It's about taken a while to when get to When it's a fair stage. call, they bitch. When it's the, when it's an unfair call, they bitch. Heavy participation from the coach. Tonight. Bear in mind, a lot of people have said they don't want it because if they clear up all these decisions and stuff, what are people? What going are they going to gonna bitch about? about? Yeah. yeah. How can we call that referee a cunt if we if you prove me he's not? It's only like a it's only like a, a moved on version of. All the arguments they have down in the pub, and now you can't have them, and now you've got your phone, unless yeah. you're in the Samsung pub. You've got no justification for smashing that yeah, glass into your friend's face because we proved you were the wrong party. Was it uh, James it Panos that said uh, the Arsenal Chelsea and the Liverpool Spurs games was one week? Yeah. That's good. Oh, uh, okay. So we need to know who scored the other goal. So no one, no one, no one. So after oh, Salah, nobody picks Salah. So after thirty seconds. And then, literally, with about thirty seconds to go, Liverpool wrapped the game up 
with Divock Origi scoring the second. And I'm telling you, no one had that one. So, uh, Mr. Williams, no score draw. Mr. Cook, no score draw. Mr. Panas, 502 points. points. And you get that because of... I got the correct result on one of the goal scorers. Ah, cool. Hmm. Just uh, mount myself down for a point there. Don't mind that. Bit of devil may cry. <laughs> Interesting. As you do. As you would. As you would. Has that been enough to overhaul <laughs> your lead from last week? Uh, no. That's why I'm happy about it. Oh, that's a good point. How did last week's upload go? Did it in two parts? It was a two-part. He did, did, two did it in two in parts. Um, cause yes, I, I did see this. I did see it. I, <coughs> did, I, I just they automatically downloaded it. I just, I just would love it. to know who it is that went fuck watching part one. Straight after part two. Just gonna watch parts. I think I, I noticed care. that. But Some care. people might, if, it, if, it, if they listen to it like me, if you listen to it on you might through, through Apple most Podcasts, one. If you play the most recent podcast, it'll just play them in order. So they might have been listening to something else, and then it just rolled into yeah. part two because that'll that'll be on their list after uh, before part one. Um, so the game ended two 0 to Liverpool. Sadly, um, Mr. Panas being the only person out of the three of us to predict, with the brain, yeah, no. to predict Liverpool winning. You you were all you were all <coughs> absolutely just hoping Tottenham. Of course, they were never going to win. Of course I was. Um, and again, Mr. Panos was the only person to predict any of the scores, um, unfortunately. Mm. Not, not enough points to win the week. No, oh, Divox dear. let me down. Well, Mane let me down, actually, because I said he was going to score. That don't have so much but, of an influence in the game. To but so did Paul, so there been points for Paul as well. Yeah. I think what happened at the end, I think there was a... There was something with Henderson and his dad, wasn't there? Yeah, apparently his, his dad's been going through cancer treatment. But I told him... He, he, doesn't, well, he didn't want to see him until he'd finished his treatment or something like that. So, that was a nice moment. Yeah. He was he was there, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Um, which, is, which is probably quite harsh, considering that like a week earlier, he'd just seen his team lose in the last minute at Wembley. So he'd be like, oh, for fuck's sake... Uh, so was there any weird people on the winning photos? Like, <coughs> a, a, Ro- a Rob Green. <coughs> I don't remember so. seeing a Rob Green just just getting in getting oh. amongst it. Was it you that sent that picture? <laughs> We've been laughing about it at the time, aren't we? Darn it, Dad! <laughs> it's like, come on, Rob Green. Rob, calm yourself. Calm fashions, please. So yeah, <coughs> Champions League final, last domestic game of the season, done and dusted. Done and dusted. So, are we predicting anything? Obviously, well, there was no money, and I didn't win three hundred and fifty quid. None of us, none of us had Liverpool two 0 with Salah to score first, so we're all losers. No. Uh, there so, is, there is a little England game. There is currently if football I, ongoing, as we discussed. Shall I put it on for our viewing pleasure? So it was Portugal one, Switzerland nil at half time. There has been a second goal for Portugal. I've not got it on, I'm guessing. Portugal. <coughs> no. One on. Switzerland. Equaliser. Mm. Is it, ah, is Rodriguez. It? <sighs> and, obviously, because it's technically a semi-final, we'll go to extra time. Or could even go straight to penalty. No. How long has the match been going extra on? Extra time. Sorry? 71 minutes currently played. Oh, right, so we're at the end. Don't, don't despair, because I'll just put it on. I'll just turn the sound on. Should we just put it on the sound on? You know, we have Paul Williams special for this one. Oh, I'm just trying to think where it is. This is normally what we do, but Paul's let us down because he's let his subscription. Estadio do Drago. Now, is that in Portugal? I think it is. What match is it? Portugal. Portugal. Yeah, it's in Portugal. Portugal, England. Isn't it? Sweden, whole... Switzerland. I think so. The whole f- semis and final. Uh, semi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> semi. So, what, did we find out when the final was? Sunday. Sunday. So, technically, we can do the predictions for 
we can predict whatever. We can we can just do the predictions based on what games it could be because it can only either be Portugal versus England or the Netherlands. Well, let's, let's or Switzerland let's, versus let's England leave or the Netherlands until after said quiz. So, and then we know at least. Yeah. So should we do the quiz? Let's do the quiz. We'll, we'll come to those, and we'll do our predictions there, for the England game tomorrow. Okay. And the final, oh, because it's all four teams basically will play two games. Oh, is there a third, fourth? Third, four, well, it's it's just runners up thing. Are you going to play the quiz? Well, not runners up. I will really. try. Good lad. Oh, I fixed can. your pen. Oh, oh, I just have to write these down. Did I break it again? Of course you did. You always bro- you broke it and left, just like discarded it on the there table. Goes my no, that was ages ago, wasn't it? Yeah. His no. Yeah. No. It. But you've already talked. Well, I've already used it since we fixed it. Why have you not got your new pen? Because I keep leaving it at home. You took it home, never to be seen again. He bought it for quizzing. Stu, I apologise. It's currently got pride of place on a pad at home. All lies. No, Absolutely no. not all lies, Andrew. Went in the bin the minute he left. So, James. What are you fancying this week? Uh, I mean, just if you just give me the answers, that'll, yeah, that'll, that'll be useful. Third of June, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's not the third of June. We commencing third of June? Said so no, the other. Where the fucking hell the fucking quiz is gone? <laughs> What's going on here? As if he's found a stream. That is several minutes behind. Oh, damn. What, what minute is that on? 77? What am I on? 74, 75. No, 75, 34. It's in front! <laughs> what? <laughs> it's even unofficial! <laughs> That's amazing! So, that was probably the going straight from Portugal thing as opposed to being rooted through Sky <laughs> and then back to you. Um, <coughs> well, I'm not breaking any laws. James, I don't believe I am. Did anybody see what I was doing on my phone officially? I don't believe I've done anything on recorded camera. All I've managed to demonstrate is the capability that you can watch it live on a mobile device. That's not paid for by I don't know what you mean. Don't know what you mean. Go on, Andy. What are the options? Football quiz. And he's got a big screen. (laughs) When English clubs (laughs) play in European finals. Oh, I like that. I like the sound of that. Yeah. I mean, no, that sounds how many, terrible. How many European finals have think? your team played in? One. How many European finals have my team played in? Don't fucking care, mate. And how many European finals does your team get fucking bitched? Oh, fucking hell. Toss it. Champions League 2018-2019. How well do you remember this season? Well, I've got a 50-50 right. choice. Is, that, is, so this, is this just the two choices today? Can, can you water Just the, the two please? choices today. How well do I remember that? Scene? I reckon you should go for English teams in European competition because you're going to you're gonna get a Forest question. Yeah, but you, the, I reckon your one's coming out as well. Which English team had a pathetic uh, Euro, UEFA Cup final I'd appearance uh, in 2006? Absolutely oh, not. Thank you. Getting absolutely hammered by pop ups here as well. Oh, it's gone now! I saw no pop ups, so I saw it was a crisp, beautiful screen. Um. I'll go for the English clubs in finals. Oh, referee. Um, this, he, he'll outnerve me on this year's. This are we winning, Paul? English clubs played in European we finals. Are yes, please. Okay, this is from the Guardian. Ooh, posh newspapers. What will what, what, what will the male subscribers think? The Daily Fail. The Daily Fail. How many questions, Andrew? Yeah, How many questions? How many questions? I actually think it's in the big numbers. I think it's the. Be... Oh! 700. Yeah, 11. That's fine. Well, we might come back to one as well then. I mean. Do a combiner. Well, it's a. Really? But it's a starting 11, isn't it? Ah. Uh, I don't know. Is, it? Is that Chad Evans? Oh, instantly before you go into the quiz, we realised on Saturday. So, what did me and Paul do where you weren't that one, uh, that interested? We recorded our findings of the best Premier League 11 yeah. from the top 11 teams. But we polled people we were out with, and Sam and to a degree Stubbs 
came up with pretty, pretty much the agreed. same selection as us. And they even went they even went with a couple of players for the same reasons. Yeah. So it was De Gea. Yeah. Is that because you don't have to pick any of the shower shite that's in front of him? Yeah, pretty much. I think Sam had one change in his, didn't he? he he'd have he'd have taken Aguero, Aguero in for Son and then putting in Vertongan. Was it Vertongan or the rear old? One of the two. Could have been. I, I think. Yeah, but then that would mean that he'd need to put someone else in. No, because you just take Laporte out. It's a straight swap. City for well, Tottenham. All right. You went. You 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 yeah. You went. Fucking. Work. You had this approach on at the weekend. Then Columbus fans. He's a fucking prick. Don't know why. I'm, don't know why I'm mates with him. Sorry. Don't know why. Wait, I'm who work said, colleagues. Who said we're mates. Work acquaintances. Prick. Uh, anyway, so Andrew, there he is, Chad Evans. <laughs> Sorry, you'll have to wait a couple of minutes to catch up. Hey! 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 Then it's entitled Football Quiz When English Clubs Play in European Finals uh, with Chelsea, Arsenal, Tottenham and Liverpool in action this week. How well do you remember previous English finalists? Let's find out. Oh dear. Question number one. Madrid will host the second All English Champions League final on Saturday. I presume this is a week out of date, so. Mm-hmm. Uh, which city hosted the first? Was it Moscow, Madrid, Manchester, or Minsk? Minsk. It's in Russia. Moscow, Madrid, Minsk Manchester. Minsk in Georgia. Minsk. I believe Minsk is Belarus. Is it? I think so. Oh, yeah, uh, Georgia's Tbilisi, isn't it? Mm. Question number two. I know where Minsk is. Who were the second English club to reach a European Cup final, and in brackets, and the first English club to lose one? Was it Liverpool, Leeds United, Tottenham Hotspur, or Ipswich Town? Now, just say the question again. Yeah. Who were the second English club to reach a European Cup final? European Cup final. So any t- any trophy. No, European Cup means the Champions League. Oh, right, okay. Because I didn't know if it was a European final. Yeah. And are the you first know? English club to lose one. Now, you two will know. Are any of these trick questions in that all of those could possibly do it because they've been in the Euros or are any of them an answer which have never been involved in it and therefore I could have guessed... I think they've all been Euros. They've all been in the European Cup. Good, then I've got an equal chance or not. Please just give me the options one more time <coughs> now we've reiterated yes, the question. Liverpool, Leeds United, Tottenham Hotspur, Ipswich Town. I don't know this. Wow. Um, I, I'm assuming Paul wins these like 90% of the time. Probably, I, don't know, I don't know what you're talking about, Ed. It's uh, 17 5 in my favour at this point. So. Uh, number three. Which club was the first to have a player sent off in a European Cup or Champions League final? Jesus. Chelsea, Manchester United, Aston Villa. The Arsenal. The Arsenal. The Arsenal. The Arsenal. The one and only. Everyone always calls him the Arsenal. I'm quite pleased with myself right now, Paul. You seem to be... Okay, I can see you just glancing up at it. I'm just like, oh, go me. Sorry. This is, go this me! Is, this is what we usually do. I think Ronaldo just megged himself. If it's if it's a BT game, we can have it on Wait, there. Watch, watch for this. Does he meg himself? <laughs> That's too small. This setup's perfect. Where's the, like the, the replay? The replay. I think he really makes himself. How has he done that? I mean, I hate it when I hate it when players do that. That's the cheapest bought foul ever. Do you want to just explain to them what you just witnessed? Because I've not. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo just megged himself. 
massively impressive. I'm assuming that means the legs went, the, the ball went between his legs. The this guy. Way, he knows not made. Ball, I know not made. Good man. It's always money in the middle. Can't wait for his predictions. Oh my again. god. Next. So just just quick pause. After we discussed it on Sunday, um, not last night. It might have even been. I think it was Monday night after I came back from football. Pop the rest of development on there, and uh, Amy's uh, all in for it now. Has Shakira just absolutely taken oh, Ronaldo right. out here? Shakira. He's got book for it, so. Did oh, it's not even Ronaldo. I was going to say. She oh just, no, it like, wasn't there. Turned up into the football. Yeah. Shakira, Shakira. Waka waka, knocking him out of the way. Um, you know she's uh, married to a footballer. Punching. <laughs> Go. Question four. 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 How many goals have English clubs scored in the European Cup and Champions League finals? Is oh, that oh that God! Total. This is before Saturday, so it won't include the two from Saturday. Mm. Well, that's going to make it easy for me. Options: twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. Out of curiosity, how long are we talking? The European, the European Cup's been going for fifty years, right? Like and we've probably been in. Do we get one match each every time we get in? There's it? only one final every year. Right. But the get but English clubs don't always get to the final. Cool. And I had twenty, twenty five, thirty or thirty five. Mm. Okay. I'm just trying to establish a guess. Uh, I don't think me and Paul will be far off establishing a guess also. <laughs> Yeah, basically. Question number five. Which English club has lost the most European Cup or Champions League finals? Is it Leeds United, Manchester United, Liverpool, Chelsea? I said it earlier. If the option's there, I'm just going to put Manchester United. <coughs> that is my guess. Of course, it's going to be bloody wrong, but I'm going to, it's the only team I know off the top of my head. God. That's the laugh of I'm right. Yeah. Or not. I don't know if he's just in the next question. I think he oh. has. Oh, is it mugging off the borough? Oh, oh for fuck's sake. Oh, come on, Paul. Oh, I mean, bless. it's not like... Only one team has embarrassed like themselves well. in the UEFA Cup final. <laughs> that is literally... That is <laughs> <literary. laughs> it doesn't those are the exact words, but... <laughs> brace yourself. I'm, I'm, I'm a big boy. Question number six. I can take it. There were two future England managers involved when Middlesbrough lost 4-0 to Seville. Sevilla? Sevilla. In the UEFA Cup final in 2006. Steve McLaren was in the dugout for Middlesbrough and Southgate was his captain. Oh, for fuck's sake, I've written them both down now. Oh, Portugal have just scored. Who was in charge of the victorious Sevilla team? I'll just scratch out Steve McLaren and fucking Gareth Southgate then, shall I? Please well, do. Why not wait till he gives you the options, just in case? Because I'm a big, because I'm a big-headed bastard, ah. Huh? <laughs> just think you know the best. Just because it's your shit team. Uh, so what are my options? Juan Aid? Juan de... Juan de Ramos. Yep. Fabio Capello. Roy Hodgson. Unai, Unai? Unai Emery. Mm. What was the second one? Fabio? Capella. Capella, thank you. Had to be him, didn't it? Had to be the boy. John Williams? No. Had to be the boy. Ronaldo! Just just say the question again. I just want to just understand it. I understood that right. You fucking bastard. He just wants to hear you say... No. Blah, 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 blah. Dug out, blah, 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 blah. Middlesbrough lost 4-0, blah, 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 blah. No. I just... just there, were two form, there were two dugout. future England managers in the dugout. Yeah. There were two future England managers involved when Middlesbrough lost 4-0 to Sevilla. 
in the UEFA Cup final in 2006. Steve McLaren was in the dugout for Middlesbrough and Southgate was his captain. Who was in charge of the victorious Severe team? I guess. Right. Question seven. Don't take it personally, Paul. Your team's doing really good right now. Oh, he's got that trick in the fucking in the fucking Oh, did they get the final. second one? Spoiler, Unbelievable. Paul, spoiler. Some of us haven't seen it yet. No, I can see <laughs> that incredible. screen, Edward. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Seven. Liverpool won their first European trophy in 1973 and their first European Cup in 1977. Which team did they beat in both of those finals? Oh. Oh, Jesus. That's a name and a half, isn't it? Is it Borussia Mönchengladbach? That's the second option. Right, right okay. Do First one was Juventus. 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 And they were on that. Club Bruges? 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 Club Bruges, Bruges? Yeah, right. And Real Madrid. So your options are Juventus. The annoying thing is. That one that you said. Borussia, Borussia Mönchengladbach. I'm just going to yeah. write B. Club Bruges or Real Madrid. <sighs> Do you remember a couple of weeks ago when we went back over all the winners and losers of the European Cup? It had the final, didn't it? Mm-hmm. I go for B on the uh, on the principle that Paul said it as an option to you. Mm-hmm. It's like, well, that's I, it. I, the only reason I said it was because I'm because he it. predicts when Andy can't say things. Uh, uh, he's led me astray, Uh-oh. and he's dropped his guts. Question number eight. I've got I've got a bad feeling. Excuse me. There's been no promise. Only one team has managed to retain. <laughs> and the UEFA Cup was <laughs> rebranded as the Europa League in 2009-2010 season. Which English club reached the final <laughs> that year? Do 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 do. <laughs> Middlesbrough, Fulham, Chelsea, or Liverpool? Remind me about Liverpool. I don't want to do that. Right there. Interesting. Interesting. Number nine. I can't remember. Interesting. Liverpool won the Champions League final in 2005 on penalties. Which of their players missed in the shootout? I've never seen that shoot though. I've only ever seen the winning penalty. Or the one that's that, that do next to The th- is this the three old <sighs> Yeah. I was I was I watched that in Gaz's bedroom. Sexy. I know. Uh, well I'll give you an extra. And he was only watching it because he was like question. he was like you know, do you remember other things I've told you before? He never used to support a football club, but he used to support Andre Shevchenko. And try. <laughs> Wherever he went. That was the team. Ones. Wait, he's getting a bit of an advantage here. Diet Ma. Diet Ma Haman. DT Haman. DD Haman or Dietma Haman. I'm guessing this one's Jibril. Jibril Cissé. Cissé. Yeah. Jamie Carragher. Carragher. John Arnie. John Arnie Reese. John Arna Risa. Risa. I was. I did all right. Do you know what? It could be anything. I want to know a job. Yeah, they're all pens. Got Arnie in it. Give us them again. Although, I am going to ask, has anyone seen the um, rap video of Arnie's? Arnold Schwarzenegger's. He's just put out, he's not entirely him, there's another rapper involved, but he's in it and singing. Excellent. <laughs> I, just because, you know, John Arnie, Rizé, okay. I figured I'd bring it up. I just wonder if you've seen it yet. Fucking ridiculous. Can't say I have. Deet Ma Hammer. Did he? Gibral Cissé. Jamie Carragher, John Arnie Reese. He said John he said, Arnie Reese. He said Jamie Reese. Carragher without number one doing it in a scout's accent or number Carragher. two spitting. Jamie Carragher. Jamie Carragher. Oh. Question 10. Which club has beaten two English clubs in European Cup or Champions Leg finals? Right. Real Madrid, Barcelona, Bayern Munich, 
Milan. I can think that they've all beat one. <laughs> What was the, so there was both both Spanish teams. Munich. What was the other one? No one. Oh yeah. And your eleventh and final question: What is the longest run of consecutive European <coughs> Cup finals featuring English teams? Ooh. Four years, six years, eight years, ten years. I put the countdown clock in Four, six, eight, and ten. (laughs) Four, six, eight, and ten. Oh no, sorry, I've got my uh, steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. Twelve. Thank you. <laughs> right. I'm pleased you knew it. I'm a bit inspired because I was doing really well in that quiz. Mm. Uh, Excuse just, me. I, just, I, didn't, I didn't want any more right. I've changed all my answers right, <laughs> right yeah. at the death. Yeah. It's a choice we all have to make sometimes. Second class one. Well, that because it's in Friends. Me. That because it's the only one I think I could spell. I don't remember why I chose Chelsea in that one. Trying to keep it seem like the most viable in my head. Man U because it's the only team I know. That's where I'm going Fabio, for. Fabio because that name's great. B because I couldn't write any of them and I Real thought Madrid B was the easiest answer. Though, they? For a long period on, of time. On some of the well, logic apart you've from got recently, you've got the right answer. Well, like, Yay! Yes. Convenient. Well, they won the first five. Oh, yeah. what's with the yeah. conferring? We're just trying to work out an answer. They won the first five. <laughs> And they've won three... There was no English clubs anywhere near those, though. They've yeah, won three in the last four <laughs> years that took them to... I'm assuming well, this is a long-standing contest. Yeah. They've got to do with this winning. So he's actually just hurting his own victory, right? Yeah. So that's three. So that's eight. And we need to work out another five in that in-between. So there's a couple into two thousands. So therefore, they must have had a couple in their 60s, 70s. Mm-hmm. So he's still there. To the yeah. current yeah. across the line. Not so Andrew, was. go mm. ahead. I'll, I'll tell you about that. Right. Question number one. <coughs> Madrid will host the second All English Champions League final on Saturday night. Oh, which city hosted first. first? By the way, your score to beat is four out of eleven. Minsk. Which I'm very disappointed by. Edward. Minsk. The hotbed of world football. Minsk. It's Moscow. Moscow, though. Ah. Oh. It's Moscow because I put that on, I got it right. Uh, the fact he came out with Minsk so quickly was like, yeah, I guessed right. John, yeah, just Question one of John you... Terry's best moments. Who were the second club to reach a European Cup final and the first English club to lose one? I didn't even know if they'd been in one, Tottenham. honestly. Have you never heard of Milan about it? Yeah, oh, they should, have, oh, they, should no. they should be champions of Europe. Conference. Is that right, or are you guessing at that? I've guessed at Leeds. I went with Liverpool. I, I, I didn't even know Leeds had been in the final, honestly. Two of the people in this room got this one right, James. Oh, dear. Unfortunately, you're not one of them. Scum, 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 scum. I didn't. Is it, it Leeds? Was, it was Leeds. Now, at this point, I'm like... Fucking cocky bastard. Because... Two on two. Which club was the first to have a player sent off in the European Cup or Champions League? Bear in mind, Lehman got sent off in 2006. I'm Did just they? my guesses. Do you remember how Moody came on? No, I don't. And they had to take off Pires in his last game. So he's gone for Arsenal. Arsenal. I have not gone for Arsenal, but he's demonstrated where he's gone. So again, two people got that right, Paul. And those two people would be me and you. Up the Arsenal. Number four. Now this, this is, is where... Guess, yeah. Big time. This is where it all went out the window. Uh, how many goals have, the, have English clubs scored in the European Cup and the Champions League? So I, I didn't think it could be as high as 35. But I don't think it's as low as 20. Is it done? You're done with it. So Just that, based on how little... So it's it's going to be 25 or 30. It is. You've had, I, a mind, you've had a mind change, looking at it. Yeah, I went for 35 and then I was like, no, nah, that's too high. Too many. Um, so, Liverpool scored three in one. They've scored... 
two in others, one in others. You've scored. Did you score one in both? Mm-hmm. I've gone with thirty. I've gone with thirty also. Edward, uh, I went with twenty. So everybody, including myself, motherfucker, was wrong. Twenty-five. Yay. Liverpool have scored eleven. Manchester United scored eight. Nottingham Forest two. Chelsea two. Aston Villa one. And up the Arsenal one, giving a grand total of twenty-five. Son of a bitch! Have you even got an answer for that? Which that one? English club has lost the most right? European Cup or Champions League final? Manchester United. No, Liverpool have lost three. Liverpool have lost three finals to Juventus in '85, to Milan in 2007, and to Real Madrid in 2018. I've I've gone Liverpool, but then it's just realised that that my basis of that answer was that they might have done Liverpool. In the I 80s. did not. There were two future England managers involved when Middlesbrough lost 4-0 to Sevilla in the UEFA Cup final in 2006. This is why I seem to read it because I thought he said there was two England managers in the dugout. No, Steve McLaren was in the dugout it. for yeah. Middlesbrough and Southgate was his captain. Who was in charge <coughs> of the victorious Sevilla team? I thought we were trying to look for another England manager in charge of Sevilla. Oh, and, uh, listen to the, listen yeah. to the question. Because I thought he said in the dugout though. Juan de Ramos. I went Fabio. I went Fabio. I went Roy Hodgson. Juan de Ramos. It was Juan de. Number seven. Liverpool won their first European you trophy in 1973 and their first European Cup in 77. Which teams did they beat in both of those finals? Which teams? The one he tried to say for you. Borussia Mönchengladbach. I'm not worried that it is. Say that three Club times Bruch. fast. I have also gone for Bruges. So you both went for Bruges. It's Borussia Mönchengladbach, isn't it? Is the correct answer. Fucking hell, I knew it. Yeah, uh, the club has remained on good terms. Mönchengladbach Fuck. Fuck celebrated you. their 110th anniversary in 2010 with a friendly against Liverpool and the German club won that game. Oh, I, do you know, I thought this was the Number answer, eight. but then I was like, is it though? Yeah. Yeah. Because I think this was the this was the year that it got rebranded, and they it, it was something like because I think Fulham. So the answer's Fulham, but Fulham had had to go through qualifying, I think, to get into the tournament in, in, in its own right, and they ended up playing something ridiculous, like fourteen games in total. It was like a third of a season. The UEFA Cup was rebranded as the Europa League in two thousand nine two thousand ten season. Which English club reached the final that year? Middlesbrough. It was Fulham. Fulham. Yeah. Diego Forlan Forlane, scored both goals for Atletico Madrid as they beat Roy Hodgson's team 2-1 in the final Liverpool won the Champions League final in 2005 on penalties which of their players missed in I the shootout I've guessed the same one here Didi I've guessed it Didi Aman as well Didi but it's an absolute guess yeah. Edward Arnie Arnie John Arnie Lisa Put yourself a little pipe down there, <laughs> as I also did. You both went for that based on the fact that it was Arnie, didn't you? Yes. 100%. <laughs> Thankfully for they could both be doing me at this point. Sergino Andre. Oh, I'm not even going to read that. Just a lot of people missing it in my hand. <laughs> did Shevchenko <laughs> miss? Yeah, he was the one who missed the final penalty. The dude in. 10. Which club has beaten two English clubs in European Cup or Champions League <laughs> finals? <clears throat> Barcelona. I changed my mind from Rail and put AC, but I think I've already been proved wrong in the previous answer. I've put Real Madrid, but... It's Barcelona. I also put Real Madrid. So, Ed, put another point down. Who do think Barcelona beat? Barcelona beat Arsenal in 2006. Oh, for fuck's sake! And Manchester United in 2009 and 2011. How would they? Oh, look, I, I couldn't get past those two finals. Oh, well, Look how happy right he's Oh my god, he's, he's gonna beat he's you. He's gonna man. beat me. Am I? Well, I've only got, really got three right. Well, I th- possibly I might not be getting this. But I thought I couldn't see past this. What is the longest? But if you run know that you've seen one of long. consecutive European Cup finals featuring English teams. So, I believe it's six because it started with Liverpool, then Forest, then it was so. But Liverpool might have like won it back to back. 
No, they didn't. Might have been Liverpool, the but did they? I, I think maybe they might have lost in the final. Maybe. I don't know if it was Liverpool, Liverpool, Forest, Forest, Forest Villa. Villa, Liverpool again. But it wasn't a win that one, was it? I like I like that you've put some thought into this. Uh, you see, I, I went with I four. I was going with four because of a much similar thought process where I just came to the conclusion that England is never that good for that long, and therefore for, no. seriously, the well, I late like, seventies, early eighties, they they dominated. I went with four based on Liverpool, Forest, Forest, Villa. But so we're thinking about the same period, but I didn't know if there was anything coupled either end. Oh, I've got this one between nineteen seventy seven. And 1982, English teams not only reached six won. They won straight six finals, years. but they won them all. So was it Liverpool, Liverpool, Forest, so Forest, Villa, Villa, and then Liverpool, Liverpool come again. back with another one? Must have been. I just not that much, it just not in the years. Damn. So. Unless it was Liverpool, Liverpool, Three Forest, Forest, Liverpool, Villa. Bearing in mind, I've only ever think I've only ever watched one football game in my life. I'm oh, twinsies! <sighs> Did you get the same number? No, I mean, Ed got three. I'll have to pad back because I need. Okay. It felt like more. How many did you actually get? Seven. Yeah. Seven. I just thought to myself, England has never been that good for that long. Seriously, like, true, late seventies, early eighties, they absolutely dominated it. To do well at anything. How? Just out of interest, how many questions is that other one you had? Is there any? Is there any uh, appetite a million for it? Questions. Right, we don't need that one anymore. Do we? This year's Champions League. Champions League. <laughs> Twelve. Spot. We can save it if you want. Yeah, keep it, keep yeah. it for next time. Well, presumably, we need one more quiz for this season, which yeah. will be next week, won't it? I don't know if we're doing one next week, are we? Might as well review the England tournament. Yeah, that's true. Right, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. I will keep it. So we've got two games to predict. Oh dear. Um. Yes, and we know technically we know three. Of, mm, do we really care about third? Uh, we care no, about we're going to have to do that because we're going to have to predict okay. England versus Portugal or England versus Switzerland, depending on which one they get. Right. So your first game to predict is so the final will either be Portugal versus England or Portugal versus the Netherlands. But the first game to predict is England versus the Netherlands. The boat is watching highlights now. We've lost them. No. <coughs> is it highlights you're watching this Yeah, it's just, just the goals. Just a roundup, basically. Who actually won in the end? Portugal. 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 Right, who's going first? I think Ed should go first because you know uh, I've given him back the pad he does yeah it's fine you just have to say it you give your prediction on what the score you think it will be for which next week's game tomorrow's game tomorrow's game England versus Netherlands do you need a lunch or Holland if you prefer do you prefer this guy prefers no, I, d- I don't think you're allowed to say Holland anymore. Apparently assuming you're never supposed to say assuming Holland. Assuming they but... live up to reputation and they're all battered. Uh, I want to go 2-1 England. I'm actually going to give us some, give us a benefit of the doubt here. 2-1 yeah. England. Let's be optimistic for us. <laughs> Does somebody want to give Ed some goals, <laughs> Do you know any England footballers? No, say David Beckham. Uh, he's not allowed to play for England because he plays for a team. No, not the um, way it works. Uh, no, that's, that's the Olympics, isn't it? He's not allowed to play for England because he's currently too old. Oh, uh, okay. What the um, fuck? Emil? Oh, dear. Does that guy with the messed up face play for England? Who's the guy about, with the messed up face? He's Frank Ribery. He's got, m- m- he's got stupid teeth. Is it, is it Ronaldo? No. He's got a stupid smile. Luis Suarez? Um, yeah, I'll go with him. Why yeah, not? he doesn't play for England, though. Oh, right, I thought you'd give me a name. No, you have to think of an English footballer. Do you know any England footballers? No. Think no. of the princes. William, Harry, and whatever they're called, the latest one. Right, so the second name he said. Harry. And yeah. think of a big red wrestler that used to 
choke slam people. <laughs> I was going to say, name Austin? No. Ne- no. The mayor Steen? of Knox County. No. He's the wear a mask. Undertaker's Harry brother. Kane. Yeah. Red but mask. you could say, which, oh, the fuck oh, Harry, Harry, Harry England. How the fuck am I supposed to get him to, uh, to, to get him? <laughs> <laughs> What's what? the current, right, so this, this guy's surname, <laughs> what's the currency? British currency. The British oh. currency. Don't say pound. Pound. Coin. Do you not know, do you not know the, the name of the currency we use is? The Great British Pound. No. Oh my God! He doesn't know the name of the currency. He does. He does. So, place in Scotland. Oh well, Edinburgh. I. It, it's a pound. We we have pounds. No, 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 yeah, no. But the actual name of the currency is not called the pound. It's pound something. Oh, oh, sorry, Sterling. Sorry, I do. I do. There is a football offering sorry. called Sterling. We'll, we'll not these try. Are your, these are your two players. Seriously, I, 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 I don't think player. I could ever get you to guess the name Raheem. As that, Raheem that put... Job? What? As in Raheem Sterling, the football player. Oh, right, Raheem. okay. I was thinking like Rim Job, but Raheem. <laughs> Raheem. <laughs> I was just well, you were to get me to <laughs> and on that note, I think we have to call it a day there because we're never going to so, be I'm going to go with Rim Sterling, please. Uh, he sounds like a porn star, doesn't he? Rim Sterling. Right. Rim Sterling. Who are you going for for the Holland scorer? <laughs> just, just give him a name. Think of one of the Thunderbirds. <laughs> uh, what's the one with glasses called? Brains. Brains. Not him. One of the, one of the Tracy brothers. Dick. I was going to say, I only know Dick. He wasn't one of the Tracy brothers. It was Dick Tracy. No, not in the Thunderbirds one. Virgil. Oh, damn it. Virgil? Okay, okay, if you were driving a white thing that you could put loads of tools in the back of, it's a... Well, your ass. Okay. <laughs> Builders would have one. A van? So those are Virgil van. Virgil and um, van. A Dutch canal. <laughs> yes, a, a, another name for a river. Is it a dyke? Yes. Is he, is, is he also in uh, Mary Poppins film? You know. Dick oh Dick yeah. Dick Van yeah. Dyke. Could have given us that. Virgil, Virgil Van Dyke. Van Dyke. Virgil Van Dyke. Yes. I just thought I'd jump wow. in with the with, with the dyke. Well, I didn't know. He I wasn't, wasn't, wasn't going to go there. <laughs> and I'll be honest. As soon as he it's, said, it's Van a canal. The it's canal. Name, I was thinking this is going to be a dyke, isn't it? Because <laughs> I, I I'm afraid I had Dick in my head. Dick Take Van that Dyke. how you will. The Dick Van Dyke Show right. with Dick Van Dyke. Good predictions, the Ed. Van Dyke Absolutely Dyke coming true. Absolutely going to pronounce his life is changing his name. He used to be Venus von Lesbian. <laughs> Old jokes. Shall I take shall I take the next one? Yeah, please do. Do I have to try and annotate like names to him? Because that'll be really really hard. That's what she said. Eh? I think it might be two nil to England. Ooh. Oh. Don't fancy it. Well, this feels like that moment you're in the family feuds thing twins. and someone has just bet a pound more than mine. I just kind of want to go, fuck you. Your goal score. What did you bid for the silver? 5,000. Okay. 5,000. Okay. What was the last one? 5,001. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> Delhi. Oh, <laughs> Delhi. Delhi Belly. Delhi Belly. Oh, dear. And Alexander Arnold. <laughs> you could, could not be more right. Could quite possibly neither of be starting. Yeah, but, yeah. Mind you, both right back options were in the Champions League final, so this one of them's got to play. No, Trippy's not even in the squad. Is he not? No. Who's the other right back in the squad then? Uh, oh, that's a very good point. Who is the other right back in the squad? Unless have they included Ooh, Gomez as a right back? I don't think I don't even I don't even know if Gomez is in the squad. Klein? I don't think he's Klein. This is the usual point of time. I hope we missed that one. No, Kyle Walker is the right back. And then there's well, no, he's not. He's not. He's he's he plays him as a right right Yeah, but in, 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 <laughs> if he plays a four, it's going to be Walker or Alexander rather than it. But what he should be doing. It, but, but anyway, anyway. Any, anyway. You're off topic. Anyway. <laughs> it was your Dutch score. Oh no, there was no Dutch score. Two now. There's no Dutch score. Right Andrew, your picks. 
I'm gonna get some some fights. If this is if this is a true stat, my prediction has gone horribly wrong. What? Uh, you see, at this point, you're sandwiched right between two sort of. We've we've gone for Andy's favourite scores. Yeah. Um, unless you fancy a Dutch win, a Dutch rudder. I, I fancy a Dutch rudder, but not a Dutch win. <laughs> uh, so just to sort of mix things up, I'm going to go one nil. Yes, one nil Dutch rudder. I think that's something we need to talk about off, off air. <laughs> uh, I wasn't sure if it was like a Dutch oven. If he says it, I'll show you quickly. Um, <laughs> no, it's absolutely all the right. Person from Tom Quinn. If anyone has here, I'll show you. Look at no. my phone. I just turn my head no. away. If he says I'll demonstrate, she will be more scared. It's kind of a two-man job. <laughs> Is this one of those Samwise Gamble moments where you know it's just polite? Right, Paul. Go on. What did you just go for? Just one nil to England. Yeah. All, all my usual scores were taken. So. Stick me down for one one. And you mm. knew it. Knew it. We have we covered all bets here, really. Paul's new favourite. Seriously, uh, this this is why nice. this is why I'm having to go for one one because I just don't think we'll get past him twice. Um, because he's had a shit season. Sit me down for Rashford to score for England. I thought about Rashford. I don't know who plays up front for Holland. I honestly can't think of who their strikers are. I think like I know this is going to say. Unless it's classy and Hunter. I was going to say I think Hunter like is talking about that. Depay. Memphis. Or as my, uh, or as my mate uh, Adam once called him, Mohammed Dupai, because he forgot his name. Mohammed <laughs> Dupai. Instantly, like that popped up. What's his actual name? Just Dupai. Check the hair. Oh yeah, Van Dyke playing against Andy Roberts. Look how young he looks there. Um, What's Dupai's actual name? Memphis. Memphis. Memphis Dupai. Well, that feels like something you should be able to remember more easily. Yeah. Um, I technically need to go for a further result there. Oh no, we're just, we're just doing it on night. We're just doing it on night, mate. Yeah, it's not going to make any difference. So, do you want your odds? And am I putting the bets on? Let me get a little, uh, little box down here. So, hmm. We've had a little go. Uh, so that's that. That's that's your current forwards in the in the current squad. Do your abs- Ryan Babbles. Babbles in the squad. Can you oh believe it? Oh my yeah. good god! Babble. Babbles in Babble. Babble. Mm, Hello, Babble. Babble. Oh, you said Babbles in. Sorry, I thought his last oh, name wait, was is that, Babbles. Is that in. real? <laughs> Tim Fossumenta did not know he was Dutch. They don't know who's a recent call up to the squad. Also, I could have sworn he was like Ghana or something like that. I could, I could have sworn. He, oh no, born in Amsterdam. Absolutely my fault. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I thought so, he was probably British. Oh England 2 0. Is 12 is twelve to 1. That's James. England 2 1 is 9 to 1. How's you going to win 9 quid? England 1 0. Is fifteen to two. Is that what Andy went for? Yeah. Thank Who did you. you go for his score? I was I wasn't paying attention. <coughs> I wasn't I wasn't really feeling it, so I just put Sterling. Yeah, it's a safe yeah, bet. He's probably been England's best so. player all season. Yeah. Uh, and the draw one one is five to one. Right next. Kevin Strutman. Mm. Oh, used to play for us. I was toying with the idea of putting him. Right, so that leaves us with. You'll need to do like a caveat down here because it's that it's then either going to be Portugal well, versus England or Portugal versus the Netherlands. I think we just go for the final, honestly. 
I don't so think you think it's going to be Portugal versus England? Yeah, or we can do one for Portugal versus Netherlands, but right, I don't okay. want to be trying to like. Arsenal well, you, with well, you three predict- think it's you three think it's going to be Portugal versus England as the final. Yeah. Take the eye, but made my mind up yet. I can't be bothered to be trying to like second guess who's in that third, fourth. Okay, we'll game. just we'll just do the final then. Yeah. So obviously, we're going to get that we're all fucked. Yeah. Portugal versus. What you could do is, uh, you know, but you know, you only put results on, don't you? So if it's not England, we'll just put the same ones on for assuming Netherlands are going to win by the same. Yeah, uh, that's probably a fair yeah. point actually. But Andy will need to text me. Yeah. Because obviously they can't give odds out for a game that doesn't exist. Yeah. Okay, who's off first? That's like I was doing it. What am I doing this time? So, if England win... As you've correctly predicted, a 2-1. They will right. progress to the final to play Portugal. What score will that game be? Bear in mind, in Portugal. I, I I have no concept of Portugal. I'm, I'm gonna. I want to go one one, one all. Draw uh-huh. for them. Draw for that one. I think we'll hold our own there. It's not bad, champ. Scores. Can someone just pick names for me? Let's not do this game again. Well, can no, I have so, the same so again? You know, you know one of them. He scored an hat trick tonight. And you've already mentioned his name. Fabio? No. Oh. He poses a lot with his uh, You, There's yeah, a statue of him. You like to go to his namesake's Golden Arch restaurant. McDonald? What's the what's the what's the sort of the mascot? Uh, Ronald. Oh, uh, Ronaldo. There we go. There you go. We've got it. Fucking hell. I like to make people work for things. You see. Not when it's football, because nothing about this sticks in my head. <laughs> and for England... Oh, for fuck's sake. Sterling again. Let's go with Sterling. Sterling sounded good. My money's on him, because he sounds like the money. There you go. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it will be 3-2 to Ooh. England. Oh, you're feeling confident for us. Yeah. Well, I think England have got this. No, I, I get the feeling we'll win this next uh, tomorrow's match and then get a bit too big for our bridges, you know. I think I think <laughs> I, I, I think whoever wins tomorrow's match will be favourites against Portugal. Um, anyway, for Portugal, yeah, Portugal, they've got Ronaldo. I think Ronaldo's scoring one, and we'll go for Bernardo Silva for the other one. I think Paul agree that's pretty obvious choices. Although I didn't see him. He played tonight. He was, was he? I, do, yeah, I don't remember seeing him. Yeah. Uh, for England, we'll go one for Sterling. We'll go... Do you know, it pains me to say it. Harry Kane. <laughs> and... Who's in the field for England? Who's going to be playing from the field for England? Hendo? Yeah, not... <laughs> Eric yeah. Dyer, nah. Winks. No, Winks pulled out. No, Winks was included, was he? Oh, he's my man in there. He's my man. Fucking Loftus cheek. I fucking hope not. Can I? Can I just keep? Can I just come back to you with that last one while I check if he's in the squad? Because if he is, but that's that's a that's a bit of a heart in the head one. I don't know how you do it. I I, I can't remember the England squad do it. Oh. oh dear. Raheem Sterling has revealed he was fuming at a statement from his management company claiming that he would captain England against the Netherlands on Thursday. I will go. I 
See, I don't even know if England will get to the final. Mm. Um, I'll play along. I'll, I'll go with it. I'll go with it being Portugal, England, but I'll go for Portugal to sneak it two one. Um, I agree with James Bernardo Silva put me down for both Bernardo Silva to get two and for England uh, Sterling Yay. standard cool I went with two nil to Portugal Ronaldo scored both Safe bet. I mean, um, I, don't, I don't think he'll ever find a time that I'll back England to win <laughs> anything. Yeah. It's a safe yeah, I think bet. We'll, obviously, I, I, I think barely we'll back them. them to beat the Netherlands. But... Did it, didn't you? Right. I believe that has brought us to the end. Cool. Just add me in for Sancho. Oh, you were still doing it, Sancho. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Because I can't find the credit in the squad, but I know he was in the squad. Reminded. Saturday. Friday or Saturday. Yeah. Friday or Saturday, which? Are you on? Well, the game is Thursday. In theory, I can put the the next game is Sunday. If if, if you remind me tomorrow night, I can put the bets on once the game's finished. Will they be out immediately? Well, Well, not immediately, but... I've set a reminder for Friday night. Right. I, I, I assume I'm just giving you money for this, am I? No, we've, no, got, we've, we've got, got, got money in the account. Oh, right. I've not been in contribution to this and I'm a late entry. I'll pay you. It's alright, Ed, because if your prediction comes in, it'll be staying in the account, so don't worry. That's alright, then. <laughs> that works out. Right, so that's that. And I believe that is that is actually that. Yeah, it, I mean, it's, it's a bit difficult when there's only like one or two games a week. Unless well, you want to get in, it's uh, 11. Oh, right. oh God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all day. Well, what now? Right, there we go. I think we're done. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye, you guys. Bye. Bye. You've abandoned putting football tops on these days, haven't you? Yeah, it's because I'm a fat bastard. <clears throat> it, someone did some, some concept ideas for um, this year's... So there you go, what do you think to that? Another one in the bag. Football season coming to a close. There's just next week to go through, and then that'll be it. Like the uh, NFL podcast, this one will go on a shelf until the next time we need it. But don't fret, there will be more CookieCast podcasts coming your way. YouTube watchers, make sure you YouTube subscribers. Everybody needs to jump over to thecookiecast.com. Check us out over there. Send us some social media love. So yep, that's it. Another one done. And until next week, I'll say goodbye.